What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the free to play. Uh, we're kind of in this holding pattern here. We of course have this event going on this week. There's really not much we're doing. I already claimed out all the shelter. Uh, we're not going to do anything on the Soul Weekend Gala. What we're going to do is we're going to start saving up those contract starry gems. We still need to get a six star in Abyss, which might be a little bit challenging this week. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, I had extra Vesica. I'm like, wait, why did I feed off Vesica? I remember now. I had plenty of extra Vesica copies. We need to do our Trial of Champion this weekend to get some more gems. We got one more here to go. We got to make a few more five-star heroes, and we'll be done with the fusion. And then, of course, we have this that we're just not really going to get past. We're going to get shredded to pieces. So the one thing we're going to try today is I'm going to swap this off of you. I guess just go with, like an a and b and i'm gonna throw on the crown here just to see how this works out we're gonna stick with the the crit style i don't think we're gonna make any progress whatsoever in purgatory one thing we can check is our guild tech for warrior uh yeah we're still slowly upgrading all of our warrior tech for him so that'll be our project but honestly i don't see ourselves getting very far in this at all especially since we have to use uh soul awakened heroes only in this so not many we got five demon potions not that great control immunity not great hp not that great none of this stuff that great for us but what we are gonna buy up is we are gonna buy up as many wishing coins as possible we'll get some four star shards although we need three star shards more than four and really the only thing we're looking for is more wishing coins on this account for a bigger event to hopefully get more pay to win artifacts because i'd love to get a splendid melodic strings as soon as possible so that's it there this is probably not going to go well we will try to do this with a basic in round one i believe he counts as the front row in aspen dungeon 2 which kind of kind of sucks for him you'd rather him be considered back row for his big burst and uh yeah i just yeah he has those counterattacks, but I don't think that's going to do much of anything. Like, he's just not a great hero in the front row. I think he's a much better back row hero. It's just bad. It's just really bad. So, we're absolutely positively not getting past Purgatory 1. I don't even think we're going to get Purgatory 1 on the list. Maybe if I use, like, a million, or just, like, all the demon potions just to get that to show up, it might work. But honestly not what we're looking to do so we're going to go back to attribute reduction purify and now we have to decide what we're going to be doing on this account because what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to build up an on kiri Maro, so i want to get him going even if it's just a 10 star so that we have a tenant there because what we do have is a lot of resources on our cloud island like we could upgrade these guys here uh actually does that increase speed i don't think so does it i think you still need a hero in the slot and honestly it's probably going to be four c's here and then on this one we're going to have an on kiri maro those are going to be the two builds for us right now because we already have we got lucky with a shard so we already have one four c's there and we have one two so we have four total we could build them soon the problem being in the dark faction I'm literally buying as many five stars as I can from the guild store because food is most definitely going to be an issue since we don't have any dark puppets right now. Building him up to 10 star is going to be very difficult and very, very food intensive. On the flip side, on Kirimaro, we need uh, two more hero copies. Technically, I don't want to touch any of the glory epic ones because those are going to be safe for light and dark only heroes, the four C's. Whereas regular chests that we get, like hopefully this week with our uh, Imps Adventure, hopefully we get one of them. We're going to use that copy. And of course, we did get one of those copies from the shelter mission this week, which actually paid off pretty well for us. So overall, there's not that much to do for us right now. We're almost to another free soul awakening again. Uh, but we're mainly going to be saving those up at this point. There's not much to do. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of idle our way through the rest of this week. Uh, even sea land. I'm still doing the sea land attempts every single day because, you know, you need to. <laughs> you need to, to max out that progress with your uh, soul awakening, the free quests. Uh, but he's just not strong enough here, especially. Ooh, 
I mean, that was actually not bad, but yeah, he's just not really healing. I think the only way we might make progress here is to go with like a balanced strike and hopefully we don't get hit too many times. Honestly, it would probably be better too if I made my Drake stronger, but for now, this is as good as it's going to get here. Uh, but yeah, getting those basics to let us stay alive a little longer and keep us healed up could work out we just can't take a full health bar of damage in one turn and that's like it's we're really really close so i wouldn't be surprised if we could make some progress in the next week or so uh let's try putting the crown on drake because maybe him absorbing those additional hits might actually be exactly what we need we do need purify ooh, because we're not healing so that is a couple things we need to do let's switch some stuff around uh not that we need to go to here we're gonna go control purify uh, we're going to take all the gear off of you and just give it to the Drake, even the Ranger set, because it's just more raw stats. Seems good. Maybe it'll make him absorb a few more hits and give our Star Swordsman Mockman in the back row just a little bit more time. Yeah, he's not dying in the first round, which is really good for us here. Even Amon Ra getting a shield kind of buys us a whole round almost. That does mean we don't have as much damage oh the problem is the seal happening like we're not fast enough right now we need to become faster to go before the enemy otherwise we can get sealed and then we don't get to use our abilities on our turn so you can see here it's hard to tell with all the carry shadows i'll maybe move him one slot but you can see he's getting sealed before he gets to attack let's push him to the back slot so you can kind of see below his feet a little bit easier here we also need just really good actives and everything from him to make some progress Right there, see, we got that seal. We got that seal again before we get to attack. It feels really bad. The seal's happening too early, but I do think, I do think Balance Strike is probably going to be the way for him to clear this. Just gotta get a little lucky, I guess. If only we could throw an Ignis in here, right? The other options, we could use some Control Immunity instead, and that could help. So what I'm talking about there is if we jump over to here, uh, not here, sorry. If we jump over to here, I guess we go crit damage is less, and instead we go control immunity. That gives us 35% chance. In reality, the purify is not doing that much. Let's just go back to attribute reduction purify. That way we don't have debuffs on us, because if and just hope we just don't get hit by the seal, essentially. Which, so far, so good here. The control immunity does seem to be working pretty good. We have less crit damage, but the fact that we're not getting sealed until this round here, still pretty good. It's close. I think with this setup, we honestly can get it. I still wish we had like one more Amon Ra to put in here for some more shielding. Oh, that seals. Oh, yeah. Once we get hit with the seal, it's not great for us. <laughs> All right, one last attempt for today. I do think this is the way to go. Control immunity with balance strike. It sounds weird, but it seems like it's going to work out pretty good. We also have to get a little lucky with our chasing here. Our active ability chases need to be a little bit better. Full health. Oh, that's not much healing. No, that's not much healing at all. So it is what it is. We're going to keep grabbing uh, dark shards whenever we can for more hero copies in that faction. But it's a weird setup. But it oddly works well. I still really like the crit crit attack stone. Uh, balance strike working decent. The other thing is we can start investing more and more as the days go on. Hopefully get up to 20. That would be great because then we can get you awakened. We can't get quite to here, but we can get the core awakened and we can get some more levels on him. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Again, it's going to be a little bit boring. So you probably won't see this account for a few more days until maybe the next event starts up. Because we are going to have some profit orbs used and things like that. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time. We'll